Okay, this video is going to be a little bit strange. Firstly, I'm having to overdub everything I shot, recorded, etc. This is why. Not very helpful. So I'm adding the commentary later. So for once, I'm going to be sat here and I will show you bits of videos and bits of pictures to show you how I finish off this faux stained glass window. In case you've forgotten, in the previous videos video, we made six panels for our project and now I'm going to put them onto a window. But the first thing is to admit I made a mistake and the mistake was in my measuring up. If you have a look at these two photos, I hope you can see now. Can you spot the difference? I measured this one, which was the inside of the window. But unfortunately, when I come to put it up, this is the outside of the window. And as should be obvious, there is a sort of rubber seal around the end, which means I can't get up to the end. The glass was a little bit too big, etc. I got around this partly by edging, I always intended to edge, I was gonna edge with the 4.5 millimeter lead, but instead I edged it with the three millimeter lead, and even that I had to cut down a little bit in places, but then it worked. So the first thing I did was edge the whole window with the three millimeter lead. Then I measured up and added a 4.5 millimeter horizontal line for the first piece at the bottom. Once I've done that, I've got a space for the bottom piece to fit in and I could stick it straight away with the nine millimeter lead. Now that went half on the glass and half over the top of the 4.5 millimeter lead at the top. Hopefully this is a bit more obvious from looking rather than me trying to explain. Now I could only do the one at the top, I couldn't do the one at the bottom because all my long vertical pieces of the lead are going to be finished off with the last nine millimeter piece at the bottom. So I'm leaving the bottom for now, I've just put the nine millimeter, millimeter lead on the top. Having done the one at the bottom. The next one was obvious one to do was one at the top. And it was sort of the inverse. I measured down, put the 4.5 millimeter lead vertically across. I've got the space for the piece to fit. This time I only added the nine millimeter lead at the bottom. Again, the edge at the top, I want to save until the end because that's going to get all the vertical pieces of lead and finish them off. After that, it was time to do the large panel, the second one down. Now, it's much larger panel, but I did it in exactly the same way, measured down using the panel, put my 4.5 millimeter piece of lead across, that gave the place for it to fit. And this time I could put it both top and bottom. So I've got the two horizontal pieces of lead going one across the top and one across the bottom. All the time I'm smoothing this down. Now, the last section here is the most difficult because it's got three separate pieces of glass. Now again I've measured and I've put a piece of 4.5 millimeter lead across the top and across the bottom so each piece will fit in between those. Now what I want to do is add another small piece of 4.5 millimeter lead horizontally by the side here. That's so the, when I put the nine millimeter on, it doesn't sink down too low. I'll cut that off just too long at the moment. 
and do the same down at the bottom with another piece of 4.5 mil. Now I can start putting the 9 millimeter across the top there. Not too far because obviously I want to put the next piece on. Do the same at the bottom. Right now to put in the center panel I'm going to line this up with the panel above. I can see where the lines should go. And the first thing to do after lining it all up neatly is going to be cut that 4.5 mil piece I added just before down to size and now I can carry on over with the 9 mil piece. And I'll do likewise down at the bottom cutting off the 4.5 mil and doing the 9 millimeter. Now as you can see I've carried on across and I'm on the last right hand panel now adding yet another small piece of 4.5 millimeter lead before I run the 9 millimeter right across to the edge. Having done that to the top and make sure it's down I do exactly the same to the bottom add the piece of 4.5 millimeter lead and then carry on across with the 9 millimeter and that's the middle 9 millimeter pieces all completed just smooth them down now you see here I've added two pieces of 9 millimeter down to the original glass that will bring the new piece up higher to a reasonable level I've also done the same above this time with a 4.5 millimeter and just run it alongside those panels and obviously I've done these in every space needed both on the left hand side and at the top as well bring it all up to a reasonable level so the 9 millimeter lead will flow now I'm going to add the long 9 millimeter pieces of lead I've got one two three four five six of those going downwards this is actually fairly easy to do it's a nice pliable lead and it's quite fairly easy to put it all the way down and this is just helping the glass the new glass to stay on firmly and it's also hopefully making sure no water is going to get behind it. We don't want any condensation or any water behind the glass. So this is giving a seal. Now finally, I'm going to do my top and bottom pieces of nine millimeter lead and that's going to end or cover up the ends of all the horizontal sorry all the vertical lines and it's going to cover all the ends both at the bottom and the top so we've got a as few loose ends as possible this is what you always do with leading as few loose ends as possible because they could come away etc so this is covering them all up Now, I really hope you like this final finish piece. I like it. It's not often I really like my work, but I do really like this piece. I think it suits my daughter's bedroom. I think it looks nice. During the day, this is showing in her bedroom during the day. You get a really nice effect and you get colors in the room. And at night, it gives, when her bedroom lights on, it gives a really nice effect outside so all in all i'm really pleased with this as with all our projects you don't have to stick to my design at all it's the technique i'm trying to show you if you've got any questions please ask below etc don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel if you're not already a member and as always go and visit our website and sign up to the newsletter then i can let you know when we have new videos all right happy crafting